Hi, this is Suzanne, and today I'd like to share with you another Sizzix project. This uses the die from Lori Whitlock, and it is called Card Gift, so it makes a beautiful card. And it's also called the X card, and as you can see, it forms this X right on top. This card is self-standing, so the recipient can enjoy it at their desk or at their table. Here is a look at some of the dies that are included in this collection. Here is the die that will be used for our base. There's also a gift and a bow and a fun balloon and some sentiments too that you can add to your card. To begin creating this card, I already have my magnetic platform, my cutting pad right on top. Now you will need five sheets that are six by six, four that are solid and one that is a pattern. And we'll go ahead and place one right on top of our cutting pad. And here is the die that we'll place right on top and we'll use our last cutting pad and run it through our machine. And you're gonna to wanna to cut this base four times out of the solid cardstock. Here I've already cut the bases to our card, four out of solid cardstock and one out of a patterned paper. You can notice here that there is a score line down the middle of each of these. So you just wanna fold them in half and kind of crease right down the center of the card. We'll begin assembling our card. One will be our base. We'll fold this one in half here and we're going to adhere it with some adhesive to the left-hand side of the card. And we'll do the same on the opposite side. And this begins our base of our X card. Now here you will need some twine to adhere to the center of this card base. And what I like to do is I like to leave a little bit at the top as well as at the bottom. But first I'm gonna adhere some red tape down the center so my twine will adhere to the card. I removed the backing from the tape and now I'm gonna place my twine right down the center of the card. And just to ensure that that twine stays in place, I'm gonna use a little bit of clear tape just so it stays in place. Then you'll cut the ends of your twine and I like to leave just a little bit at the top and the bottom of the card. Now we're gonna cover the twine with our final card base using adhesive. And we'll go ahead and line that right onto the front, just like that. Next, we'll go ahead and adhere our pattern papers that we cut in half. And one we're going to tuck right underneath our first layer, just like that. As you're assembling your card, you just wanna take a little bit of time to make sure all your edges align as you're assembling your card. Now we're going to adhere our final pattern paper to the front of our base and line that along the edge. Being careful to cover the front of the base of the card. And you will have something like that. We will now begin to assemble our gift. You'll need two layers here, one for the front and one for the back. And we'll go ahead and adhere the image that corresponds with the gift die. And we'll place it right on top and we'll finish off with this glitter bow. And this will go in the center of our card. And this is why we will use the second layer just so this has something to hold on to. So with a little bit of adhesive, you wanna place them right along the twine on the back side and adhere this right down the center. You'll turn it, up, turn it over, you'll apply adhesive along the back side of your gift and hear that right on top. And you'll set that aside just to give it a little chance to dry. Next, we're going to assemble our balloons and adhere them to our card base. And here you'll notice I did a little bit of shading onto the outer edges of the balloons. And using pop dots, I'm going to adhere them to the upper right-hand side of the card. And you just wanna kinda layer them along the top, 
just like that, and then add the streamers. And then just as an added touch, we'll add enamel dots to each of the three balloons. Now we're gonna add our sentiment to the bottom of our card. And I've already run them through the Xyron. And then for a final embellishment, we're gonna add enamel dots to dot our eye and our sentiment and add two more on the outer edge. And here's the completed project.